Okay, welcome to part two of the Yggdrasil review for Gaming Solo. We are looking at the board now, all set up and ready to go pretty much. A couple of things very quickly. Um, I want to show you the harder decks. You can add some cards to the de to the, the enemy deck to make the game more difficult. One of those cards are the Ragnarok cards. Thus, that basically allow you to move. That basically means that you move multiple enemies forward one at a time. It says which ones at the bottom. Their abilities don't kick in. They just move, and you just move lots of them. So that's quite intimidating. The other cards that play are the uh, angry enemy cards, which look thus. They're pretty much the same. The big thing is that the writing of their names got lightning across it. And what it does is it moves them forward two, as shown here. It moves them forward two and they do their ability once. So again, it just makes the game a lot more challenging. You can add one, one, of, one or both of the decks depending on how you're wanting to play. Uh, I'm not adding them for this though because I don't see the need. So, without further ado, let's get started. 10 minute timer for us to get keep going. Let's start playing. So first things first is I um, first things first is I draw a card. I get right, Fenrir, the wolf. Fenrir is a pest. He stalls the game. You have to take the dice and he's only at one strength at the moment so I have to get a white, a blue or a green to be able to calm him down. So I roll the dice, I get a green first time, so he's calmed down. That's used up one of my abilities though. That, so now I only have two abilities I can use this turn. Right, so I've got to do this sensibly. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to hell. <laughs> um, I'm going to pick up, the ability here is I can pick up five of these guys, one, two, three, four, five and put them in one of the island bags. I'm going to put them in the white bag. So that's five Viking tokens in the white bag. Let me just rotate that so I can see what I'm doing. Whee! So that's five Viking tokens in there. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to, to the Valkyries. They're going to move off the Rainbow Bridge onto the White Island. And I'm going to search the White Island. Give this a shake. and take three pieces. One, two, oh, troll, troll, viking. So the trolls, the troll pieces go back in the bag, the viking I get to keep. Now then, what I do next is, that's my two moves, I went to hell and then I went to Midgard, so now at my next turn, so I draw a card, I get Fenrir again. Wonderful. So he moves forward again. He's still only at one strength. So I roll the dice and get blue. Blue counts. So I have two moves. I am going to draw a weapon from the Isle of the Dwarves. What I do here is I go through the deck and find the first strength weapon for the character I want. I'm choosing Fenrir, obviously, because he seems to be ploughing up the board. So I find his card, strength one weapon, and that becomes mine to keep. So that is now owned by me. Um, so that was move one. Move two... I kind of don't want to fight him. I think he's a bit close to be fought. I, I don't think I've got enough strength to fight him yet. So I'm going to jump back into the White Island. Pick out three. One, two, three. One, two, three. I get three Vikings this time. I have three Viking chips. And I keep those. And I feel like I'm getting somewhere in strength. So those are my three moves. Calming him getting my weapon and going to the White Island. So next turn, I draw Yggdras, um, Jormungand, I think it's pronounced, the snake. 
So he moves forward one, and what he does is he moves the Valkyries back to the Rainbow Bridge, and you roll the dice. I rolled white. Oh, that's not good. So the island, the submerged island token, goes over the white islands, meaning that that is now blocked. I can I can go over it. It's still a space, but I can't gain access to the White Island because of that. Oh dear. Now then. So I've got three turns. I've got enough to fight, I think. So first things first, I'm going to use one item. I'm going to use one move. I'm going to take an elf token. So I take that for free. I have her in my um, pile. I'm then going to use second... And I'm going to move the green man up one, because I'm not sure what else I want to do. So he can move up. And now I'm going to fight Fenrir. So, he's at strength five. I've got to get five or more to beat him. I'm going to put in all four of my guys. One, two, three, four. I'm going to roll the dice. I, so I only need to get a 1 to beat him, however last, however I don't get anything, I rolled, as, I rolled white, that's nothing. However, I am playing, I should have said this at the start, I am playing for this game Thor. He gets plus 1 in battle, so I cho chose him because he's nice and easy for the game, because I thought he would be nice and easy for the tutorial, so 4 plus 1 is 5. Fenrir gets beaten, he moves back one space. These four Vikings, because they were all they all get used, even if you don't need them, you can play six of them and just win automatically as far as I know. They all go to hell though, they all get scoffed. Oh, and I had my plus one here, so I definitely won, I'm okay. I'm so Onwards, what am I going to do now? Um, that was my three turns. I'm going to draw another card. I pull Yeoman Guard again. These, car these cards are crappily shuffled. Yeoman Guard moves forward a second time. And so I roll the dice. I get white again. So everything resets the way it was. That's fine. Um, during my turn, I'm going to reset the green man actually so he goes back to his zero point and what that does is that allows me to move the valkyries once they move to there the reason why i did that is because i can then move them a second time this turn so my second motion i'm going to go and do that i think actually i'm going to jump straight into that Move them to there, and go to the Blue Island. So Blue Island, shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Grab the pieces, so three pieces. One, two, three, one, two, three. There we go, I get two Vikings and one Troll out of that. The troll goes back in the bag, the Vikings come to me. To me! So that's two moves. And my third move, I'm going to go and get Yeoman Guard's weapon. So, Yeoman Guard, Yeoman Guard, Yeoman Guard, Yeoman Guard, Yeoman Guard. Where is he? That's his plus two. Oh, I've skipped it. There it is. It's Mjolnir. Hooray! That was to find the power of Thor. So I've now got Yeoman Guard's weapon. Right. Next thing I'm going to do is, so that was my three moves. There, 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 yeah. So I draw another card from the enemy deck, and I get Ning Dog, or however he's pronounced. I have no idea how to pronounce that. And what he does is he moves forward one, and he also drags someone with him. Now, it doesn't really matter at this point. I'm just going to move the top one. Loki moves with him. He doesn't activate, though. So, now that that's happened, it's over to me. I have three moves. I'm going to start by 
taking all the warriors from Hal, all four of them, one, two, three, four, and putting them in the blue bag. I'm then going to stay where I am at the blue island and take from the blue bag. So three tokens, one, two, three. Whoop. I pulled four, they were all Vikings though. So one, two, three Vikings. I've now got a good army there. So that was my, that was two moves. I'm now going to use my third move to fight Jomengard, to fight the, the serpent. So I'm going to put two Vikings into battle. I also have a sword. So I only need to roll a one here because I've got three there plus one for my for being Thor, and now I've just got to roll a one. I roll a two. That's fine. So those two Vikings go to hell. I keep the weapon. Once you have once you have bought a weapon, you keep it, and he moves backwards one. So that's that so far. Now then. Um, that's my three moves. Back to the deck. Oh! Nimhog again. The serpent is pulled again. He moves forward one. Oh! Yes, shut up. Right. He's moved forward one and he drags someone with him. So I'll drag just again someone furthest back so he can move forward but doesn't activate. And I have one more round I'll, I think I can jam in. I'm going to go to the red, to the ice giant world. What that does is it allows you to pick a world. I'm going to go to the green world, because that's where I'm going to go to next, I think. And pull five tokens. One, two, three. One, two. Three, four. Five. I pulled three Vikings, they go back in the bag. I pulled two Giants, they go into that world, so that that bag's now clearer. Back to Valhalla, as you can see Valhalla gets used a lot because this is your key how to get bits place. Shuffle the bag, shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. I pull three pieces. One, two, oh, three pieces are on, so I get two Vikings. Whoops and one giant. Giant goes back in the bag and I'm going to have a final fight. I'm going to be fighting um, the serpent this time, Nilbog or however he's pronounced, isn't that goblin backwards? Um, so I'm going to play three vikings. I've got plus one so that's four so again I only need to roll a one. I roll my one so he moves backwards one and that's the game in a nutshell that's a quick preview of how the game's played as i said in my review yeah it works okay but as you can see there it's a little bit ramshackle when on your own there's no one really to strategize with so it feels a bit random it's still fun but not as good as, as it is in multiplayer, that it's not really that worth sitting and playing on your own. It's nice that you can do it because you can learn the rules. So, so that when you come to play with your friends, you can just be like, yeah, I know how to play this. But that's really it. Not one I would advise sitting and playing on your own, but you might enjoy it. You'll know, you'll see yourself. Okay, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time. I've been gaming solo.